In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to do three fun-filled trash-to-treasure projects. Yep, these projects right here. Oh, and did I mention? Jenny's back. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are ready for a fun-filled episode and you want to make some cool stuff, oh my then gosh, let's go ahead and dive into this week's episode. One quick note before we get started, though, I just want to welcome you if you're new to Flea Market Rescue. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. I love taking you along as we go thrifting, garage sailing, and flea marketing. So if you're interested in learning how to do some of this, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Hi guys. Hi everybody. Jenny's back by popular demand. All of you wanted to see her and she's going to do this trash to treasure with me. So today we have some really good projects planned. We have this coffee pot or teapot. Okay. It's old. We're going to do wind chimes with it. Ooh. And we're going to use this old silverware. Ooh. It's going to be cool. Yeah, I yes. love the vintage of it. And then you pick yourself up like an old grater. Gr grater? <laughs> grater? Grater. Grater. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't even talk this morning. But anyway. because you're excited. Is that what it is? Yeah. I mean, these are great projects. Yeah. We're excited. They're going to be fun. Yeah. So anyway, you pick one of these up. We are going to paint it. We're going to, it's going to be a utensil holder. Oh. So it's going to look really good. I have some cute little kitchen towels that we can hang on there. So that's going to be a, yes. I love the color. And then our other project, I bought that basket. I'm not sure how much I paid. What was it, Jenny? $3.99. $3.99. So we are going to, you know, this is really cute the way it is, but we're going to make it very summery. We're going to do a really nice arrangement in it. Okay. So those are our projects. So let's get to it. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get after it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to paint this. I cut a little piece of wood because when we put the silverware in here, it's literally going to just fall through because this is opened. So I cut an exact piece. It, you know, all you have to do is put a little piece of paper. You can get a template that way by putting a little piece of paper. And then, you know, I drew it out on this piece of wood and cut it. So that's what we're going to do to stop the silverware from falling through. So we need to paint this and we also... Yeah, because <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to work, okay? So you really need some kind of stopper for that. So we cut this little piece of wood, and we have our grater. It's so <laughs> and, great. So great, yes. And we're going to just paint this up here. We're using Junk Monkey. And it's very heavy, so I know there's paint in here, guys. <laughs> unlike, <laughs> unlike last time. For those of you who did not see that last episode, I had Jenny open the paint and stir it up while I was explaining something. And you can get these from... Uh... So as I'm telling you where you can get these graphics, Jenny is noticing a problem. Uh, let's see. Oh, Graphic Fairy. So I go on to tell you where you can get these graphics and... Jenny is just dying over there. What did she just say? I couldn't hear her. Oh, there's no paint in the can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jenny just told me, I don't think there's paint in there, but there is. It's just really thick because it's been like sitting around. I'm going to add a little water. We're going to stir it. <laughs> don't worry, Jenny. We can still use this. Oh, Woo! God. <laughs> Jenny can't get over. There's no paint in here. Oh, how's that working out, Jenny? It's like turning into clay. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, yes. we have paint this yes. week. Okay. Oh, let me show them. And what color did we pick? Antique them? lace. So this is a really nice color. I've used it before on other things, and I really like it. So it's new favorite. New favorite. That's her new favorite. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and open that up. We mm -hmm. might need to stir it, and then sure. we're just gonna we're gonna paint, paint it. Away. it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I know you guys give me a lot of hard time about my brushes, but I really love these chip brushes. I mean, they I get can, it done. They're cheap. I really can afford. They go a, bad. We do need a. Oh yeah. A stick. Something to stir it. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. Hang on, guys. <laughs> So I gave Jenny this big doll rod to stir this up. <laughs> We're going to use it on another project, but I didn't have anything else. So I'm sorry, you guys. 
it's getting the job done. <laughs> Just use what you have. I think that's a big lesson though, really. Like, I know we're laughing about it, but you know. <laughs> oh my God. Done is better. Like we always say done is better than perfect, but everything always turns out perfect here. So. Oh yes. All right, you guys, we are ready to paint. So, yep, here we go. Okay. All I right. just gotta put that black in here. Well, or you do know you... what? Maybe it'd probably be easier, do you think, or no? Paint it maybe, outside? Maybe. I don't know. That sounds smart. Less drippage. And then we probably should take that price tag off, too. Oh, yeah. So you can get these for like $1.99 if you look in the right spots. That's true. That is true. Okay. All right, so then... let's go ahead and paint that up. I'll just see a little debris here first. Get rid of that. All right. Okay. I'm gonna paint the block while you paint that. Okay. Sound good? Sounds great. How about I share? Oh, well, you're fine. Uh, that's all I need I to do. Share. She's she's gonna share. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> it's her paint. <laughs> it really is, but that's okay. It's okay. Which is why I thought I should probably share. <laughs> <laughs> I really love this color. Look at how pretty it is. It's just like very charming, isn't it? It is. Like country cottage. And it's got, it gives you like a warm feeling, you know? Yeah. Good color. Yeah. Warm, cozy feelings. All right, I'm going to let this dry and Jenny's finishing this up. So once we're done with that, we're going to let that dry and then we're going to kind of like, um, work on a few other things. All right. Sounds, sounds good. Sounds great. Okay. Great. Yep. <laughs> great. So everything's dry and we're getting ready to paint the inside. When this happens, just look at her face. This isn't the first time this has happened. But you know, like we're all perfectly imperfect and that's, this is like the best kind of art project, you know, like the things that turn out perfectly imperfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just dropped that on the couch. Yes, yes you did. We're gonna have to get you some kind of grip tight gloves. Okay, so we already painted the outside and this here mm -hmm. is drying. So we're gonna do the inside. Mm-hmm. And then we're flipping that over. I'm gonna start that while you do that, okay? Okay, very good. Here we go. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> and she's already done. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> She's so funny. This is gonna be so cute, you guys. You're gonna love it. I can't wait. I know. I I they're all gonna be so cute. I was just trying to think which one I thought was gonna be my favorite, and I don't think I can pick. I love the idea of the wind chimes. I love mm -hmm. the idea of the I, I love the wind chime idea too. Yeah. But this is gonna be pretty stinking cute. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. But I just keep thinking of wind chimes in the garden. You know me. She loves the garden. In our next Trash to Treasure, it's going to be dedicated to gardening. <sighs> yeah. I know I can't That's wait. right up her alley. <laughs> oh, yeah. You wait. It's my happy place. <laughs> that was Jenny's idea. She's like, what about gardening? I think people are thinking about gardening. Now, you know me and I kill everything, but not, not Jenny. No. I'm new to it, so I am not a master gardener, but... I will be sure to include some pics of my flowers next week because yeah. I have a lot of stuff getting ready to bloom. Ooh. I know. I know. I'm pumped. It's going to be a, a good trash to treasure, so make sure you tune in for that one as well. You're going to love it. All right. How's that look, Jenny? I'm going to have you look that okay. over. Okay. And if I missed anything, because I don't have my, I, well, I guess I could put my glasses on, right? <laughs> I on think my... you're already wearing them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think she's right, huh? Oh, thank you, Jenny. Yes. So we're gonna, while Jenny finishes that up, we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll assemble everything. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so it's cute. It's gonna be darling. Darling. Cute. Yeah. Darling. darling, that's a good word for it. Yeah. All right, you guys, this is completely dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit of this Annie Sloan dark wax. So I'm just gonna kind of do that on the creases here. And then we're gonna rub it in. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna cut the tags off of these things. Oh yeah, there you go. I just love them, they're like so sunshiny. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a little paper towel and blend this in. I really love 
love that because it just gives it a little more dimension, I think. Yes. It's beautiful. Need a little wax right over Makes here. Makes it a little bit more vintage too. Oh, cute. probably shouldn't be sliding my fingers down here. Be careful. <laughs> right, because this is a grater after all. Yeah. That would make you a cut above the rest. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. She can think of something for everything. I'm, I'm not lying. <laughs> I could do this all day long. She really could. She really could. Oh, I love that you did the handle. You know, the handle needs a little something too. All right, so I think that is really perfect. We're gonna put a handle on this, mm -hmm. and we also need to um, put our wood in there. We have this little wood piece we're gonna add, remember, so that the silverware or the, the spoons don't fall through. So we're gonna add that, we're gonna add a handle, and then we'll decorate it. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that little piece into the bottom. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry guys. And you can either glue that or that's pretty tight in there, isn't it, Jenny? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I just pound it down a little bit. If you make it the right size, you don't have to worry about it falling through. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well done. Okay, so we're good with that. Now let's um, make our little handle there that it's going to hang from. So we're going to make that little handle using this wire here. I'm going to cut a little piece of it and we'll make that. So let's see here. I think I might need to drill a couple holes because if I put it down this far, I don't know if that's going to look good. Yeah, I don't I need agree. to drill a hole here, but I will need to drill. I'll just drill one. Make sure you got that on there. We're actually out of frame, so. Perfect. And then you don't need one for that No, side. I think that one should go through. Pretty good. I would start on this side, just so that you're good. Maybe go. Nice, cow. And I'm gonna twist this on this here. In. Yeah, we're just gonna make sure we're in frame here, which we are. All right, oh, so man. now we're that gonna. That's so cute. Isn't it cute? Yes. So we're gonna loop that over, and then I have to keep enough that we can twist around. So I'll just make it a little longer than what we actually need it. Okay. Oh, and then I see our wood kind of. Oh, we might need. Out. Yeah, Sorry. we might need to glue it. Okay. I mean, it seems pretty tight, but obviously not if you put it on the side. I'm just gonna cut this extra off. This wire is actually two pieces, so. All right, I think that is so cute. All right, Super so let's, cute. you know what, we're gonna glue that wood piece in just okay. to ensure that it's not gonna come out again. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little glue onto the sides here so that when I push it down, it actually will stay. Again, if you make it tight enough, it should wedge its way right in there, but. All right, so that is glued in place now. Now we don't need to worry about it. And let's go ahead and stage it. <laughs> Like, if you guys really only knew how small this room is, one person in, one person out. <laughs> to keep laughing. Because it's like one of those puzzles. Excuse She's me. In. Excuse me. Excuse me. Lock out for me to leave. <laughs> yeah, I gotta literally I gotta step out there. She comes or out. I'm trapped. I'm in or, yeah, just can't get around me. Send help. <laughs>
we need I a, love it. We need a bigger workroom. <laughs> we do. Anyway, but, okay. but that's all right. We, we, it's bigger than the last workroom. Yeah, my house. <laughs> the non-existent oh. workroom. <laughs> true, true. Okay. okay, look how cool this looks, you guys. Oh, sorry. But look. you see our wood black was hanging in there, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, so we're going to just kind of add. I like the little sunshine. Oh, I don't know which one. Which one, you guys? This one or that one? Mm -hmm. Let's put them like. I kind of, I kind of like this that one? one. Yeah. So we're just gonna. You can use that as a little towel rack there. Oh, how adorable! That's and precious. then we are gonna finish with um, putting a few of these old utensils in. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, cute. Yeah. And on this little um, hanger here, you can put maybe some jute or we actually have this ribbon that was, you know, with the towels. I really like it. So we're going to just tie that on there and just in a knot, just in a knot. And then we'll just cut it. I love it. Okay. Oh, look how nice you guys. One more. No, no, nope. just one. Yep. Okay. Perfect. That looks great, Jenny. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and cut that right there. You want them on angles? No, uh, just no. cut that one there. There Here. you go. Perfect. Okay, so you guys, this is something easy that you can do yourself. We literally bought this, you know, for hardly any money. You can pick them up at um, a garage sale or um, a flea market. Or your grandma's house. Or your grandma's house, yeah. <laughs> Grandma always wants to give you everything, so yeah. yeah. So you can do that, <laughs> and then also the utensils, you can find those at a garage sale Super for a dollar. And if you can't find them, you can go to the dollar store and actually get some utensils and coffee dye them. Yep, just add Ooh. a little coffee to them, and that'll make them look aged. Nice. So again, this is another cute little project that you can do. Now we are going to use this here. We got this for a dollar, you guys. It's going to make the best wind chime ever, these spoons. So inside here, look at this, like the little percolator. Mm -hmm. We can literally use this to um, string the spoons through. Mm -hmm. And then somehow we're going to attach it to the top where everything's going to hang down. Nice. So that's what we're going to do. I mean, it has holes already. Now, if you don't, if you find a coffee pot or a teapot or whatever this is, um, and it doesn't have one of these, you could always cut a little block of wood, a circle piece of wood, and then drill holes in, and then you could attach your, your fishing line through that. So that's what we're going to do. All okay. right. Cool. So let's pick out what spoons we're going to use here. Okay. All this old silverware. Yeah. I think those are probably good. You think that's good enough? Yeah. I think that's Seems a good like selection. a lot. Because they have kind of a similar... And then, yeah. oh, I, I wanted to show you guys. That. I have one more thing, too. Ooh. Do you remember, like, the old crystals that would go on lamps? At Hobby Lobby, they have these. I'm going to take one out. My mom actually picked up some, but I don't know where they're at. So I picked these up for her um, half off. But do you guys remember these? They would go on lamps. I was thinking maybe we should string a few of these that would just make it look, you know, just. My grandma had two of those lamps and they had crystally things hanging from them yeah. all over. And we, oh, we well got yelled at so much. For Why is that? Oh. <laughs> I could totally see you doing that. Yeah, I totally can't. You see her doing that? Ding ding ding! Ding ling ling! It's so shiny. Oh yeah, that's all it takes for me. Like a cat with some tinsel. <laughs> shiny object and Jesus. Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna drill little holes right here. Okay. That way we can string our silverware. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I bought a special drill bit. So this one 
I know. Well, you were a little concerned, weren't you? I was. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if we're going to be able to drill through them. So I made sure that this could go through like a metal pipe. So we're going to use this bit and we'll drill through the end of the silverware. Excellent. Let's get those open. Yeah. All right, you guys. So I brought a piece of wood here because you don't want to drill through your table, obviously. And we are going to take our spoon and drill a hole. But you know what? I'm going to flip it to the back because I just feel like that is going to hold it a little better. It's a flatter Yeah, surface. because this is kind of curved and it might slide off. So... You're just gonna make a hole like right about there and drill through. I don't wanna go too crazy cause I, it might just go all the way through and I don't wanna go through my table. Almost through. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Okay. Ooh, that's beautiful. So you just want to make a hole Nicely like done. this. Yeah, you don't want to make a really huge hole. Just, you know, enough to get your fishing line through. So I'm going to do this on all the silverware so that we can hang it. So you just want to keep doing that until you have holes that you can you know, string all your your utensils from. All right, Jenny, we have drilled all the holes through all the silverware. And so now great. it's time to string these along here. We're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I'm wearing off on you. <laughs> okay, so you want a long enough, because, um, you know, we want to make sure that we have enough hanging down. We can do them different heights too. So you're just going to take a little piece of your fishing line and then you're just going to tie a knot. Make sure that you double knot this so that it does not come undone. And then we're going to cut a really long piece that we can string through here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I think she probably paid a little bit more for this, but I, it is I did, satin but... silver colored. I thought it was it's so cool. I mean, because normally it's clear, but this yeah. matches this so well. Yeah. And where did you buy it at? I got it at Hobby Lobby. 13. I actually bought this medium one. It's from the bead section. Thirteen ninety nine. Yeah. It was it was a little pricey, but you know what? What I else really did liked... we pay for this project? The spoons were a free. dollar, and the spoons and a were <laughs> free. So yeah. And, and the shiny things were is that ten dollars or were they on sale? Um, those were on sale, so I got them for five dollars. You can also get those in the beads section, but you want to make sure that they're fifty percent off. Nice. And actually, my mom has some, so I probably could have used those, but I don't know where they're at. So we're just going to cut this where it's just long enough. And once we have these all on um, the fishing line, we'll figure out what placement we want to put them, how far they're going to hang down. Okay. Just you really make sure that you know even triple knotted if you have to. So okay. let's go in no way. Yep. Let's go ahead and just keep doing that. Is that good? Like if I do yeah. like the arm oh, yeah. length, Perfect. is that good? Yeah, that would be great. In hindsight, we probably should have done these a little shorter because we literally ran out of line. Not for all the silverware, but for the jewels. So again, what you want to do is take your fishing line and just kind of fish it through the hole of your utensil. And then you're going to want to definitely knot it really good. So you might have to do it once, twice, even three times, whatever it takes to secure it on there. All right, you guys, we have all our silverware strung and we're about to string it in this and we're gonna attach it. But before we do, we need to have something that is gonna allow this to hang. And what we have is some rusty wire here. So I'm gonna drill a little hole here and a little hole here, feed that in and underneath I'm gonna tie it off. Oh, oops, sorry, you don't wanna see that, but I no, just wanna show not. you, you wanna make sure that your circle, like you're not gonna, drill the holes where the circle is going to be. You're going to do it off to the side. So you're going to have a hole here and a hole here. Okay. Because once we tie all of our silverware to this, we're going to hot glue it on the inside. Exactly. And if, if it's all knotted where we attach the, the hoop, 
then it's going to be kind of hard for it to stick flush. So if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we need the surfaces to connect yes. to create that bond. Exactly. Okay, so let's get to work here. We're going to drill right here and right here, and we're going to make our hoop or, you know, our little handle that we this is going to hang from. All right, so I'm going to use this as a gauge. We're just going to leave that on there so that I know that I'm not drilling into here or here where that's going to cover. So I'm going to do it right where the handle is. We'll start there. Oh, cute. Yep. So the handle is right here, and we're going to drill right there. Wow, that goes through really quick. I think it's <laughs> aluminum, isn't it? Yeah. It's, that's probably and then why. You probably want to line it up with the spout, too. You might want to turn okay, it out so you can see. Okay, so a little bit more over here. That was a good suggestion. Okay. Oh, that's easy breezy. Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to feed our wire through here. And like I said, we're going to knot it from the inside. All right, so we have our wire here. I'm going to insert this wire through the hole we just drilled. Okay, nice. And I'm going to flip this over and we're going to make our knot right now. So just grab that from the inside here and kind of loop it around. Do you, you want to? Yeah. Okay. You can use needle nose. Jenny just asked me if I wanted to use needle hold nose, but you know, you can. But this wire is not that thick, so you can actually just twist it. All right, so that is not gonna come through. I'm gonna pull that back. And as you can see, it hangs perfectly. Now, you just have to determine how much wire you want for it to hang. And this, to me, looks really good, but I'm gonna cut it long enough that I can make a loop. So I am gonna use those needle nose that have the wire clips. Okay. I'm gonna push this through here. I'm gonna push down further so that I can actually grab this and knot it. And then we'll pull it back through. We're gonna do exactly what we did on the first one. And it, it's not going anywhere. Now, take your handle and pull up. And voila, we have a handle that this can hang from. Now it's time to attach our silverware to this little guy here, and then we'll glue that inside. All right. All right, Jenny, it, the time is now. We are gonna start to um, string these through. Oh, nice. So we're just gonna kind of spread them out. We'll put, you know, how many do we have? One, two, six, six all together. So, you know, two, oh, I like four, seven, I see. six. Okay, well, just kind of space them out enough. So we'll start with one. Okay. Wow, we did cut this really long, yeah. don't we, Jenny? Hey guys, so um, if you decide to use this, we're just gonna point out, we only had enough to do about six of these forks and spoons. But we, we did cut a lot, so we're gonna string this and see how much we have left. And all this excess fishing line that you see, we are going to cut and use for the jewels. But, okay. And since we are gluing it into the lid too, maybe you want to see how far from the yeah, lid. Yeah, we're never going to have it hang that far. So, no. mm -mm. so probably, yeah. Do you like think that? that's probably good? That's I think that's really cool. Okay, so we probably want to stop about right there. I'm going to give yourself just a bit more to tie yeah, with. Let me put my glasses on so I can actually see the hole. And I'm going to feed that through here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should do it this way. That way it can... Yeah. Yeah, I think agreed. that'd be better. Otherwise, it's only going to be held by just the rim of it. So this is like threading a needle. <laughs> but the hole is actually bigger than... Uh... <laughs> okay, so we said about right there would be mm -hmm. good. I'm going to tie it off about right there. Well, actually, you know what you could do? You could thread it through again, and then that way you and know. And tie it on the bottom so that it's not bulking well, in between. Do you know what I was thinking is like, put it in the one next to it so that you could bring it through and okay. tie it on the bottom. Yeah, that would work too. And that way it doesn't get real bulky on the side where we're gonna glue it to That's the base. It. Listen to her. Great ideas. Okay. okay. So
So I'm gonna tie this here, and then we're gonna cut that off, and we probably could use that for our little... Yeah, um, we gotta keep a close eye on these things so we don't lose them. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tie that pretty tight. You might want to do two or even three, just to make sure, because once we glue it, you don't want to worry about any of these falling off. You don't off. want to climb back in there <laughs> or monkey with it at all at that point. <laughs> okay, so I think that should be good. Let's just take a look. One more yeah, that's great. And hanging out of there, perfect. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Okay, love it. So let's cut this, and then we can use that for those little, uh, these beads here. Can't wait for that. You don't have to do them all the same. You could do like one longer, one shorter, whatever you think will look good. But I will suggest not putting two forks together. Put, you know, put one fork here, one on the opposite Mix side. Mix it up. Mix it up. All right. I think that's good. Oh, oh you want to put it yeah. through there first and then? Yeah, let me put it through here. That's smart. And then we'll go from there. I love it. So that, my friends, is how you string silverware. So I'm going to spare you of seeing me string each and every one of these. I'm just going to speed this up right here. As you can see, we're cutting the extra fishing line in which we're going to use on the jewels. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is starting to look really cool and it sounds cool too. We're almost finished. All right, so we have this all together here and it's time for these little beauties. Shiny, shiny. Okay. So we do have a little bit left over here because we cut them so darn long and um, we're just going to tie that on there and okay. you want it here? I'll let sure. you do that Yeah. One. Yeah. I feel like I watched you do a lot of the last part. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think I'll do one too. Oh, that way okay. we can just kind of string Same them sees. on. Yeah. I think this is just going to add just another little element that's going to make it special. Oh my gosh. It's right? going to be so special. So we're just tying the jewels onto the fishing line, and then I'm going to have Jenny string it onto that little metal piece. I think she's got it. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jenny is holding that up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how that great. It's spectacular. <gasps> I love it, Jenny. I cannot wait to glue it into that coffee pot. I know, it's going to be gorgeous. And it sounds nice, too. Don't you guys want one? Like, oh my gosh. I know. I love it. I'm so pumped. All right, let's go ahead and glue that in there. All right. Here we go. Just put tons of glue on there. Get that really... Lather it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Is that good? That's perfect. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> A little hot there, Jenny. It is. Okay. More than a little. If you can shove that in there. Hang on. That's got to shove down, I think. I'll let you do it to the position. You got that? You need me to hold it there? She's putting that right everywhere. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I really think I can do this. She's got this. Press that really hard and let that dry. Kind of waiting for the heat on the top to go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you probably could fill it right I there. I can fill it a little bit through. You did it! Yay, look at that. We have a wind chime, you guys. It it's looks so cute. It is super cute. I love it. We could even tie something a little, like around here, just to kind of add a little more, whether it's like a little piece of jute or, or a ribbon. You took the words out of my mouth. I was gonna say jute. 
Ooh, or like ragged fabric. You yes, know? that would look cute too, but I love this. So I cute. love, 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 and it sounds so cool too. It does. You guys are gonna have to make one. All right, you guys, so remember how I told you you could put something like Thai jute or whatever. We are gonna use a little piece of greenery. I have a, this little piece of greenery that we can just kind of tie on here with some jute. And I think it would just really add something, just a little pop of color. So we tied that on and then look how awesome this looks. I put this out in literally the same day it was sold. I love how it sounds too. The only thing I would caution you about is being careful not to get it tangled. Otherwise, it's like Rubik's Cube. You have to be very careful with it. All in all, I think it came out beautiful. And again, I love how it sounds. We are going to do this basket here. We're going to paint this and we're going to use um, Dixie Belt drop cloth. If you guys remember, I did a dresser in it and it came out really pretty. Do you remember Stunning. seeing that? Oh, yeah. beautiful color. Yeah. And that was the first thing that sold at my vintage market. So I was so happy. Anyway, um, this here is in drop cloth from Dixie Belle. And we're going to paint this whole basket to give it a nice kind of look. All right. All right. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll work together on it. All right. Cool. You get one side. I get the other. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll just put the paint right here and uh -huh. let's work to work on it. I think we're going to end up getting this tablecloth. Yep. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my mom put down this lemon tablecloth and I really don't want to get any paint on it. So we're going to be real careful. Although that's probably why she bought it, but we're going to let her get the paint on it first. How about, hang on, how about we spin this? Oh, goodness. Was that? Yeah. Okay. And this basket, how much was it? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. So watch your strings. Yeah, sure. well, probably a bad shirt to wear <laughs> for the trash to treasure. <laughs> Lesson <painted>. learned. Yeah. <laughs> So as we were painting, Jenny was wondering if we were going to paint the whole thing entirely. I thought maybe uh, you might want a little peek through, but I guess we'll see when mm, it dries. I think I just kind of want it to look solid. solid. Yeah. Normally I like things distressed, as you guys know, but I don't know, for this basket, I just think solid would be better. Because the flowers already have their own like element of distress because they're like dried. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Not. <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like they add the aged to it. Okay. Does that make sense? That so makes sense. That makes sense. You gotta have the balance. I see a lot of people who do everything really perfectly, like just to really make sure, but it takes you forever to do a project. And we're here to make money and flip these things. So if you spend a lot of time painting your projects, you know, just doing the base coat, that's gonna, that's gonna Eat really, your profit. It's gonna really affect how many pieces you can get done in a day. Time is money, baby. Time is money. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We gotta spin this thing. I think we need to right now. Yep. <laughs> Looking See good. how nice that's looking? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's this like is such a pretty color. You know what? I can totally see this in a cottage, couldn't you? Yes. I mean, oh, it yes. so pretty. Like or on, on a porch. stairway. Oh, on a stairway, too. Yeah, sure. So, Jenny and I just kind of finished that up. I think that's good. We'll let this dry. Okay, and looking then we'll good. do the inside. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks, so we are back and this basket is completely dry on the outside. We are now painting the inside of it and we're gonna give the outside maybe a second coat. So while you're doing that, Jenny, yeah. <laughs> she drops the brush in there. Yeah, that just confirms she definitely needs some grip tight gloves. You gotta love her. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this here. Okay, sounds good. The inside, I'm really not concerned about so much. I mean, because there are going to be like flowers one, and things. So that one, one coat would do. Yeah, one coat would be fine for the inside. But the outside, we want to make sure that it looks good. All right, so Jenny and I are going to finish this up here. And then when we get back, we are just gonna finish by putting some flowers in there and we're just, we're gonna do a little something to the front too.
I have a tag that I made with the Glowforge that we're going to use on the basket. This here is the rim and I'm having Jenny paint it white. This will just make the tag look three dimensional. And while that's drying, we're going to use Little Black Dress by DIY Paint to paint the inside of the circle. Jenny would do anything to get done here. <laughs> it works for fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> almost done, Jenny, almost done. Hey, I think it is drawn. Yeah. It's ready to go. All right. Jenny, so we're going to use my new stencil here. What are we going to do? Is, I kind of like the zero and the four. What do you think? Zero. Four. I'm for it. <laughs> All right. Then let's go for it. Okay. I'm All like, right. <laughs> it's catchy. All right. Here we go. Okay. So I know that we do not have a proper stencil brush, but you know, that's things we gotta work on. <laughs> Does that look pretty good? I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. Is that gonna be, wait, is that in the middle though? Because you want it right in the middle. I think that's gonna oh. be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you think? Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yep. And just kind of pounce on that. Pouncing. Yep. And then when you pull it away, it should give you a nice. Uh... Ready? Yeah. The moment of truth. <gasps> Yay! That's beautiful. Perfect. Okay, now before we put the stencil back on there, we have okay. to make sure it dries. Okay. Jenny, I think you know how to handle that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back at <Yeah>. it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go home. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good thing I got a lot of hot air. <laughs> All right, so that is dry now. Okay, and I think... Should I use the three as a sign of where to put yeah, the four? Yeah, I think you could do that. Absolutely. Okay. Oops, sorry, I'm I not on it. There we go. I'm gonna do that then. Okay. Does that feel good? I think that would be perfect. Okay. Let's do it. All right. So you just want to hold that down there. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> that's oh. That's okay. You know what? You too body? Too much. Too much. Dial it back. Okay. Dial it back. Okay. Feeling good? Yeah, I think that should be good. Okay. Just hold Let that down. Let's see. You usually want to like kind of offload some of that or else it gets globby, but okay. let's just hope and pray. Hoping, praying. Yep. And wishing and hoping. <laughs> that looks pretty good. No? I, that looks great. Okay, let's okay. see. The moment Moments. of truth. <gasps> you did it! Very good. It's beautiful. I love it. Yay. All right, so we're just going to add a little bead of glue around the rim. <laughs> just, you, you said a little one. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, you. I did, kind of. It's okay. Now, normally I use tight bond, but Karma picked up this Gorilla glue. And so we're just going to try this. I'm sure it'll be just as good. Yeah. The Gorilla Glue, uh, I haven't had a product from them yet that, that, that isn't disappointed. Well, I always use their two-part epoxy, and that Ooh, one yeah. is really good. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure this is good, too. But usually on wood pieces, I use tight bond. I would okay. wipe a little of that I in the gonna, middle. Oh, you already know. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to kind of use this part that didn't have the paint. Okay. Just to kind of, like, yeah. smoother out so we don't get globbers. That sound right. Mm -hmm. Does that look okay? That looks great. Okay. So just go ahead and position it on there. Okay. And just try to center it the best you can. Okay. Oh, I really love that. That's gonna look so good on our basket. Yeah. Oh folks. wow. Very nice. You did a great job, Jenny. Yay! That's gonna look great on our basket. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and work on our basket. All right, you guys, our basket is completely done. It looks cute. Jenny just finished up this. She did a really good job on it. And I think it's gonna look awesome right here on our basket. So we're gonna hot glue this on here and then we're gonna put a nice arrangement in here. Okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda add a little glue. Okay. And then you just wanna kinda position it on here. Okay. 
And then it looks just let, just let that dry for just one second. Oh, Jenny, you look so pretty behind there. Look at that. Aww. With the flowers and the basket behind. Oh, just a pretty you. little picture over That's here. right. That's <laughs> right. Okay, so we have these. I can never say it right. Can you say it? Hydrangeas. Yes. Mm -hmm. I always say hydrangeas. <laughs> Everyone just like <laughs> kills me in the comments. So I, I'm clearly saying that wrong. But if you guys remember, I bought these at a flea market. Yep, I got that whole bucket for $5. And they're just so beautiful. I bought the whole beautiful. bucket for $5. And we're going to use that in our basket. So let's go ahead and take a few of these, Jenny. And okay. we're going to just kind of arrange them in our basket there. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. It matches with the basket so well. Let me try this guy because he might kind of be a little bit... Am I doing it? You're doing a great job. Mm. They are a bit delicate. They are so delicate pretty. because they are real flowers that have been dried. Oh. <laughs> no, it's good. The man took a chill. It looks so full over here. And so we kind of want to do the same thing with that one. Did you see my man took a till? <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, you're so funny. Okay. Oh, that looks good. That looks so good. Any you want both sides? Um, both yeah, possible? both sides. Um, I will tell you, anyone would buy this. Like, I would buy this for my cottage. I think it just looks so cool. It's so sharp. Yeah. Oh, that is perfect. Does that do it? That that will do it. I That's think it. that will stop. Do it. Yeah, I okay. would stop because it's nice and full. Looks great. Thanks, Jenny. You're welcome. Thank you for doing the projects with me today. Thank you for having me. We did good. I really enjoyed it. Oh, good. Well, you guys, stay tuned for the next Trash to Treasure where we're going to be doing gardening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right up her I alley. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching. I think all our projects came out great today. I especially love this basket, and I'm going to take it to my cottage this weekend. I also want to give a little shout out to Penny. She stopped in our store this week and she was just so lovely. Penny, Penny has just stopped in. Hi. She has hit all the thrift stores that we recommended and she has a car of stuff. So we're going to go check it out. Oh my God, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> you girls are a riot. <laughs> oh my God. That's our goal. We're just having fun. Fun from Taylor. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. Yeah, that's where I'm from. This is my little car. Okay, so. Let's see what you have. Yay! Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh, the ladder. Well, that, Ooh. yeah, that. Um, I love the care. My mom would want these. Oh, oh my God. They adorable. They're and they so were half off. Cute. They were purple. I think, oh. yeah, so I got them for $1.50. Oh yes. 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 Look, yes. At, look at these cute little ones. Wow, things. those are gorgeous. Oh, adorable. Oh, the I would steal those. I know. <laughs> Listen, now they that's are right on my alley. Look, I gotta show you this cute oh. little thing. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Half off. Oh wow. my gosh, Joe and Just so stinking adorable. That. Just all kinds of stuff. Look at this pottery. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Just oh. beautiful. I love this. Don't Isn't show that? my don't show my mom. <laughs> You know how oh she loves God. her birds. Oh my gosh. It, this is the one that I'm like. Isn't like, that adorable? Well, Jenny's a gardener, so Jenny, oh we're just going to do a trash to treasure next week of gardening and all. Oh, that's right up your alley, isn't it? Right up my alley. Beautiful. Oh, I'm going to leave oh it here. I Look promise. at the corbels, you guys. Oh my yeah, gosh. These, these were amazing. Look at this wow. little tree thing. Now, where too. did you get that one? Which uh, These were at the it. very first Clinton Township. The Clinton Township one? That was my best. Fine. Right at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you know, I got gosh. there. I so. totally would have bought those if I had saw yeah, those. Yeah, they were, love, they were great. Love, love, love. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for showing us. And Penny, you couldn't have come at a better day because you ended up getting all of us there. It was a pleasure meeting you, and you come back anytime. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.